this video, I'm going to show you some Windows commands and PowerShell commands to list files and folders from directories. So the first command is the dir command. It's just simply dir, and it'll get the contents of the working directory. So I'm in C IT folder. So when I uh, enter dir, it's going to get the contents of that directory. And then the the first column is the uh, modified date, and then you've got a column here to let you know if it's a directory or not. You can see I've got a downloads directory, a folder directory, an HTML, and a toolkit directory. And then it's going to show you the size of the, um, of the files, and then it's going to give you the file name or folder name. So very easy to use. It's a quick command just to get the contents of a directory. Um, if you want to get uh, the contents of a specific directory, you just type in the full path. So I'll get CIT, and then I'm going to get the contents of this toolkit directory. And there you can see. Pretty simple. Um, but by default, it doesn't get the subdirectories. Uh, to get subdirectories, you need to use the slash s option. So I will do c it So now it's going to get all of the files and folders and subfolders from this CIT directory. So if I scroll up a little bit, you can see it's getting the, uh, all the subfolders, so CIT, Toolkit, and then there's a subfolder under Toolkit called PowerShell Reports, and then there's a folder under it called User Reports, and here's all the files under that one. So that's the DIR command. Uh, the next command I'm going to look at is the tree command, and this one will uh, display all of your folders and files into a tree structure. So if I just type in tree and hit enter, as you can see there, it's getting the entire C directory, so I'm going to stop it because it's going to uh, list a lot of stuff. Um, and same thing, if you want to get a specific directory, type C, and I'll do the CIT. And there you, there you can see it just gives you a nice quick overview of the structure um, of a specific directory. So I've got toolkit, and then I've got all these files or folders in the under toolkit, and then you can see under this old directory, there's files under it, uh, under the PowerShell reports directory, I've got uh, all of these folders under it. So to clarify, by default, it's just displaying folders. If you want to include files, do the slash F. And now you can see it's given a directory structure, and then it's um, displaying the files. So that's it for the Windows commands. Now I'm going to jump over to PowerShell. Uh, with PowerShell, we're going to use the get child uh, commandlet. So it's get child, and then the path perimeter, and then the, the full path of the, the directory you want to get the contents of. So you can see it's, it's going to output the mode, the last write time, the length, and the name. Uh, the mode has several different options. Um, it, and I'll, I'll link, put a link on my website to my article that's, that specifies what um, all the different modes are. But with PowerShell um, and the GetChild commandlet, you can do all kinds of different uh, options for uh, searching for files and folders. And you can control um, how many folders uh, deep you want to to return. So I'll use the depth perimeter, and I'll just go two subfolders deep. So let's see. So I specified. Let's see what I specify here. Okay, the toolkit directory. So with the depth uh, option, is this going to go two folders past? The, the toolkit. So 
you can see here PowerShell reports, that's one, and then user reports, that's two. So if it had a third subfolder, uh, it's not going to display that because I limited it with the uh, depth perimeter. Um, a really useful command that I like is um, you can specify certain file types. So say I want to see all the text files. Do an asterisk dot txt and I will include all subfiles and folders. And there you can see it's just displaying all of the text files. I wanted to find all the files, MSI files, and there you can see, now it's just displaying all of the MSI files. Um, so I've got a bunch more examples of using the get child um, command. Uh, I got an example of you can do a count of files and folders, you can get folder size, um, but check that out on my website. The next thing I'm going to show you is um, how to get NTF permissions. So this is a GUI tool. It's part of uh, the AD Pro Toolkit. So you just open that up and go to NTF permissions report. And you can enter a path or browse to a path. It can be a local or it can be, a, it can be an NTS, NTFS shared folder, UNC path. Uh, just hit run. And it's going to go display all of the folders, and then you can you can get the permissions on all those folders. So here you can see full control. These are allowed. I can filter. Maybe I want to see all the folders that just have deny permission. Um, so let me do a UNC path here. And to get all <clears throat> to get all subfolders, just put a zero in there. Okay, so this went out to uh, this share and it's listing all of the subfolders and then it's displaying the user or group that has permissions to that folder, the owner, and then you can see the uh, directory rights. And this time I should have some deny options. So I'll just filter and display all, all the folders that have deny permissions. You can see the new, new folder there, it's got deny. And then I could take that filter off. I can export this to a CSV, cell file, or a PDF, but this tool makes it really easy to uh, audit your permissions on shared folders. So that's it for this uh, video. Uh, again, uh, check out the link to the article I've got. Um, I've got a bunch more examples of using the get child command and the dir command. Thanks for watching.